Sega. Hey guys, Bobbery18 here, and welcome to my Let's Play of Sonic Generations. So, I guess I could explain a little about this game. So, it was sort of, you know, for tw Sonic's 20th anniversary, and I haven't, I actually didn't play it till really recently. This is the Xbox version, by the way. I have the PC version as well, but it, I don't have the PC specs to record that and play it at the same time. So, yeah, I'm doing the Xbox version just because I really wanted to play it and make a let's play on it because I love it so much. So yes, let's get this started here. New game. Uh, yeah, I only tested a few things on this version. So yes, we get dropped right into the action here. That's Omo Chow giving you hints there. You can turn it on and off in the settings. He'll be like in the levels sometimes, but I usually have him off. So here we have Classic Sonic. Yes, this game has two main gameplay styles. Classic Sonic and then later we'll get into Modern Sonic. Uh, I'll explain that when it comes, but with Classic Sonic here, you can, uh, you know, use the control stick to move, press A to jump, uh, if you press X, you can do a spin dash here, or if you press down and press the jump button, you can do also a spin dash. I think that one is actually, um, it's more powerful, so yeah, I, with your, like, uh, spin jump here, you can also jump on enemies there. Oh, shoot, I guess you were supposed to run across that, I haven't usually been that slow on that path before. Yeah, there's actually an achievement. For getting through the first stage of Green Hill. Yes, this is a Green Hill zone, by the way. This, uh, I, I'll, yeah, there's an achievement for getting through this level in under a minute, but obviously I'm not going to do it because I'm explaining things. But yeah, um, this game takes level themes, or levels in general, from previous Sonic games. This one is from Sonic 1, obviously. They had to bring Green Hill in. It was the first zone of the first game. I mean, to celebrate Sonic's 20th anniversary, that's what they did, so... I, I like it a lot, and by the way, just to get this out of the way now, I love this game, and not it is not because of nostalgia at all. In fact, I have probably zero nostalgia for anything Sonic-related, except maybe Sonic Heroes a little, but that's only one game. So yeah, and I still find this game really awesome, so if that's not a reason to make, to have this game, or to think this game's awesome, I don't know what is. Also, if you can dash through certain things like rocks like that, and there's loops, and yeah, some, most of the levels take themes from the original level it's from, and as you see, this also took some from Sonic 2's Emerald Hill Zone, I think it's called, like those, uh, loop things, not, not the, like, vertical loops, but the ones that were going horizontally, like the checkerboard ones, so yeah, we got an S rank here, S ranks, they are the highest rank you can get, they're pretty easy to get in this game, but I'm, if I don't get them in a, in a level, I won't stress over it, but in general, I'll try to go for it, I guess, so yes, Let's see what happens now. Party or something? Surprise! Ah, oh, you guys. It's kind of impossible to surprise you. You totally got me this time. I had no idea. Yeah, right. Happy birthday, Sonic. Hope you like this. Like it. I love it.
am I? So, why the monster didn't take the time to actually capture Sonic when he's probably the biggest threat here is beyond me. But as you've seen, he captured every other of Son everyone else that is Sonic friend Sonic's friends, like the poorly word, but you get the idea. And now we have to rescue them all throughout the different levels of the game. So the first one here is, uh, as you saw, well, first we had Classic Green Hill, now we have Modern Green Hill. And you see, this is the overworld right there, that's gonna be the place where you select all your levels if you get the idea so yeah it's those question mark question mark question mark even though you could probably see what you could probably like tell what the actual level is it's still green hill again so yes yeah, so with modern sonic here you can press the x button to do a boost or like a air dash sort of thing no that's a different move i think it's called but anyway um yeah so you can do an air dash or thing you could do a boost if you press um well, I'll get to it when we get to another enemy, but you can also do the homing attack if you jump and then press A right after your homing attack. Uh, is there an enemy that I can show? Oh, no. Well, these orange rings here, uh, you can boost off of in those those um, rainbow rings. You can do uh, tricks off of by tilting the control stick in different directions. So, yeah, as you saw, I did the homing attack there. It'll automatically lock onto an enemy when you get near it, and then you can press A again in the air to... Uh, basically jump on it, I guess. You can also lock on the like, things like rails and stuff right there. Also, these, uh, yellow pad- boost pad thing- ramps, yeah, that's what they're called, will also give you a chance to do tricks, so that's pretty cool. You want to make sure at the end of your trick, though, you have enough time to press both the, uh, the trigger buttons at the L- the L and R buttons, I guess you could call them. They're the ones that aren't analog, so the ones in the front, I guess, on the controller. If you press those, you'll do, like, a finish, and that'll get you a bunch of boost. And also, when you're doing the tricks like this, it'll, it'll ab you'll get boost, but it's able to extend your boost meter past what your boost meter is actually capable of. So yeah, you can get extra boost that way. Also, you can do wall jumps here on only certain, only on certain surfaces. Apparently that was, like, a complaint that people had about this game, like, you could only do it on certain surfaces, because apparently in, like, other games, I think probably Sonic Unleashed or something, that you could do it on any surface, but I don't know. I, I find it fine. I don't really use it that much. I only use it when it is really required. Also, killing enemies and getting rings refills your actual boost meter, so that's something. Now, unlike in Sonic Colors, where uh, only certain enemies refill your boost meter, I'm pretty sure that's how it was. And in this game, every enemy refills your boost boost meter to my knowledge, so that's that's pretty cool. A way they made it easier, I guess, and it's more convenient too, since yeah, I, from what I remember from seeing footage of Sonic Colors, only like a few enemies per level actually give you boost, but then again, most of that le most of that game was in 2D anyway, so I don't know. So we got an S rank in this level as well, that's awesome. And once we clear a level, we should free run of our friends. Thanks, Sonic. I thought I was dead, floating without a body in a black limbo. <sighs> I'm gonna have nightmares for weeks. Is it me, or is that place we were just in awfully familiar? Mm, not to me, but this place looks like something sucked all the life and color out of it. Totally strange. Well, no stranger than rescuing genies in magic books or saving aliens in an interstellar amusement park. I'm more concerned about finding our friends. Hey, Sonic, I saw something over there in the distance. Like buildings, but they look weird. That might be a good place to check out. I'll be back soon. Wow, you weren't kidding when you said soon. I thought you already left. Hmm. And now, like that, we clear Green Hill now, and magically Sonic's back here, even though he ran over to the next level. So yes, I, I kind of like the what little story there is in this game because like as you saw tails pointed out that he didn't know about green hill because green hill was in sonic 1 but he didn't appear till sonic 2 so yeah I, I just like that little nod to that so now we can switch between the two sonics in the home world by pressing y here 
like uh, this. You can use both their abilities, like the spin, spin dash or the homing attack on the home uh, hub world here as well. So if you go to the right here, I, I may as well just demonstrate this since I don't really want to go to the next level yet. You have this shop here run by Omo Chow. Hi, I'm Omo Chow. When you clear stage, I'll give you points and as a present based on the rank you earn. You can use the skill points to buy skills here in the skill shop. Skills will give you new abilities. How much can I say skills? <laughs> so yes, you have to sort of buy skills in this game, and one of them being the shield that's so popular. You'll get, like, elemental shields later. Um, because I know those are pretty popular. Also, you can buy a Sega Genesis controller that's exclusive to the Xbox 360 and the PS3 version, I think. Which allows you to play Sonic 1 in, like, the uh, entirety of Sonic 1 in this game, so that's pretty cool. I don't think it's in the P PC version, just because Sonic 1 is already on Steam, and I guess they want you to buy that instead. So yeah, it needs 7777 seven, seven, seven points, I guess. So I'll just buy a few here, like, uh, Sure-Footed. You'll, you'll unlock more skills as you, like, go through the game and do some of the other ones. Some of the, like, challenges and stuff, uh, athleticism. I usually don't use the skills that much, but if you want a boost and stuff or something, they're, they're kind of cool. You can also buy lives from there, which makes this sort of incredibly easy. Oh, I actually don't know what this, uh, information pod, it's, oh, I think this is just something you can use to look at tutorials and stuff. So yeah, but if you go through this door, it may look like it's nothing, but revisit Sonic's memories here in the collection room. No items here are added as you collect st red star rings and notes. Come back anytime you need to see a collection. So yeah, you can see movies, like those are just the cutscenes. Uh, you can see art, like different concept art. I don't have any, like, uh, any unlocked yet. You can see music that you can unlock, and also the stage music that's here. Oh, I guess, maybe not the stage music. I guess you have to unlock it from red star rings, which I'll get into later. Uh, you have characters. So yeah, we just have uh, Sonic and Tails here. Or miles, tails, per hour, yeah. Miles per hour, that's kind of funny. Even though he's not the fast one, but yeah. So in the next part of Sonic Generations, we will go do this next level here. Which I won't spoil it yet, but I'll say that it is from Sonic 2. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you then.